John here guys and today we're talking about a couple of new chargers hitting the scene and finally 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 we have one that can charge off of a USB battery bank so we'll talk about this one a little bit later um, but this one is the new Toolkit RC, they have been releasing a plethora of chargers lately, and this is one of the latest ones, the M8S. Now, we saw the smaller one uh, a few months ago. This one has some really cool white sort of iPhone-like styling, and this is perfect for being your charger at home or your charger in the field. It has USB output, which is quite nice. It has <laughs> two buttons with a little jog wheel, it has um, your power input at the back. This I actually really like, so that if you were in the field and you wanted to charge some small batteries, you could take something like this China Hobby Line Black Series 1300 milliamp 6S pack, plug it into the back and it will immediately boot up. I do like that it has dual small fans placed at the rear, which will be blowing hot air that is heating up from this thing out towards the back. And if you had your battery charging from right here, it'd actually cool that off a little bit. Um, kind of interesting. This charger is two to eight S enabled. So any other charger that I own right now is only up to 6s this is the first one i've actually had to 8s so any of you guys who are flying 8s on you know any kind of an x class or 8 or 10 inch size frame need those big batteries this is going to have you plenty safe and for a very reasonable price now toolkit rc has its own sort of um menu system on here we kind of went over that in the last review but it's four options charger measurer output and settings measure will help you to plug in a pack onto the balance lead and power output and be able to measure the internal resistance of all of the cells to make sure that your battery is in good condition and very healthy um, so that it does not damage any of your stuff remember guys if you put a battery on this you measure the internal resistance of in this case all six cells if there is one that is way off way high or way low um, you're not going to want to use that pack anymore. It's trash guys. It's not worth the safety risk of trying to run a battery that has a damaged cell, throw it out, but first dispose of it properly. Go watch another video for that. Um, and then of course settings. So I do like the, on the settings, how you can go in here, you can set your lowest input power so that you don't destroy the pack that's putting power into your pack. Now, of course you can run any type of power supply to supply power if you are charging it at home instead of in the field. Um, so then you can also put your input power, you can set your temperature highs and lows. There's a lot of extra safety features built into this charger, which I really like. Um, and because as we all know, LiPos are, you know, they're totally fine if you respect them and care for them properly, but you always want to, do the proper care for lipos because they're not as stable as say your power bank charger that we're going to talk about in a minute so this is a really good option it's very small you can easily fit it into a pocket as you can see it's just barely larger than a 6s battery um and that really helps for you to have a backup charger in the field now i use a dual charger whether i'm at home or out in the field but i was at a big race one time where a buddy of mine uh, T-Rex, his charger, and he had the same charger as I did, just randomly went down. And he would have been in a lot of trouble that day competing if he didn't have a backup charger. I never thought about bringing a second charger in case the other one fails. He had an ISDT with him and he was able to just keep going like nothing happened. So this is a good option as a backup charger, as a primary charger. It's pretty inexpensive and very small. Now. Now let's talk about what we've all been waiting for, the URUAV U3. This is a two to three S balance charger. Why is it so small? From the pictures, I thought it was gonna be about the same size as a power bank. And speaking of power banks, and speaking of power banks, this is the Anchor 
26,000 milliamp power bank. This is a very smart uh, power bank right here. There's a power indicator button on there. You have dual inputs to be able to charge this thing up a little bit quicker and three high powered outputs. Now there is actually a newer version of this that can supply even more power output that's able to charge like an Apple laptop or whatever. Um, I have a this little charger <laughs> it's so much smaller than I thought it was from the pictures. And when I saw this thing, I was like, I must have this. It can charge a battery off of one of these, finally. So all you do, it comes with this little um, USB 3 connector. Just plug it in, it turns on, and it's able to charge either a 2S or a 3S from this balance um, connectors on the side. Now it does have two buttons. I'm not really sure what the hell these damn buttons do. It doesn't seem, it just like kind of changes your view, I think. This is a 2S uh, battery that you would fly on a toothpick or a twig. It is a Heli Nation FAF fast as fuck, I think is what it stands for. It's a 350 milliamp 2S. This is a great battery, guys, if you're looking for a toothpick battery. Um, you just plug it in, and boom, guys. We're charging, we're charging, we're charging. And it does have some smart features enabled. I actually charged this earlier, so it's full, and you can see it's flashing 4.2 on the screen, meaning it's totally um, full, and it's the whole screen is flashing because it's saying that your battery is charged, you don't need to keep it on there. I don't think it has any audio, sound, beeping kind of features, but it's nice that it does this, and so it does not seem like it's gonna overcharge. But as always, even though this is charging off a USB battery bank, battery bank, I would still keep an eye on it like any other charger for our hobby because at the end of the day, you still have a LiPo plugged into this thing. Now, if you were so bold and you wanted to go fly after work or at lunch, you could bring this with you and very discreetly charge your LiPos at your desk without having to bring your charger that has a giant fan that's gonna kick in. This charges at a rate of about 0.5, Five, four, five, five amps. So for a 300 milliamp, that's almost 2C. Now, C rating is the rating of like how fast it's gonna charge. And so the way you calculate that is like, just for example, say you had a 1000 milliamp battery. That is 1000 amp hours. So if you wanna charge at a charge rate of one amp per hour, oh, you're gonna put in one amp of charging uh, power on there and it would charge that battery completely from discharged to full in one hour. So if you have a 300 milliamp, which is 0.3, you'll wanna divide that by 10, or actually multiply that, yeah, I'm gonna divide it by 10, so you would wanna charge this at 0.3 amps, would be 1C, and so this is almost 2C, so it's gonna charge from completely discharged up to full in about 30 minutes, and since we don't typically discharge our batteries completely because that's bad, it's probably gonna charge this in about 20 to 25 minutes. Outstanding, so you could charge a couple of these, be ready to fly it by lunch. I have been waiting for something like this for so long, guys. I can't believe it. I've charged probably five or 10 packs on this thing. I took it with me to the field when I was um, doing some racing testing on some small micros the other day on a track, and I was able to power the fan that I keep next to me on my chair because it is hot outside. I can power the fan off of this USB power bank because I have a cool fan that has a plug-in and then I can also charge these at the same time with the same power bank. Outstanding. Finally, we have one of these and it's so, so cheap. So if you fly any kind of micros that are 2S or 3S, definitely pick this thing up for how cheap it is. Why not? Thanks guys.